the name of God. In the name of God. I, Sam. I, Sam. Take you, Anna. Take you, Anna. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In Anna to Sam. In the name of God. In the name of God. I Anna. I Anna. Take you Sam. Take you Sam. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. We are parted by death. This is my song of God. This is my song of God. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Anna, I give you this ring. Anna, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. <laughs> Sam, I give you this ring. Sam, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. A sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And with all that I have. I honor you. So, Sam, a few notes about Anna that you probably ought to know. But, uh, you know, sec <laughs> second thought, I think I'll just let you figure them out on your own. <laughs> so, uh, today's a special day. And again, everybody, it's my youngest daughter, my last girl. And uh, with all the pandemic, we weren't sure what's going to happen, but it all worked out good. And I'm glad it did. And I realize a lot of you couldn't come to the, re to the wedding, but I thank you all for driving up here for a reception. And as we'd like to celebrate Am and Sam, formally welcome Sam to our family, and Sam's family to our family. And uh, Don and Deb, they, they did a fine job of raising a young man. So. And I am Anna's older sister. 
Thank you all for being a part of Anna and Sam's big day. I know that planning one of the biggest days of your life is so exciting that these two decide to do it three times. You learn a lot about someone when you live with them for most of your life. As you prepare to enter into this new journey, I'd like to return the favor of the advice that Anna gave my husband on our wedding day and share the things that Anna has taught with me. A sense of wonder, always wondering what it was truly like those first two and a half years of my life as an only child. <clears throat> the meaning of patience. After 13 years of living in the same room, dad told us that the first person who wanted to move out had to move into the small room. So not only did Anna wake me out, she insisted that she needed to stay in the large room so she could play piano and promptly This way? Oh, quit piano week after I moved out. <clears throat> she taught me what true generosity was. The minute she outgrew her training bra, she promptly came down the hall and told me, Kara, these don't fit me anymore. I think they'll fit you. <clears throat> How to be comforting, whether it was a tough day, a storm, a terrible nightmare, Anna was the person that I went to to comfort me. She always had time and space for me to lay with her in her bed. <laughs> time flies. So a little brother got married today, obviously. And for those of you who don't know me, uh, Don Capuch, the big brother of the groom. I'd like to start with a quote that I think is very fitting for Sam and I. <clears throat> Siblings, children of the same parents, each of whom is perfectly normal until they get together. Yeah, if you know us, that makes complete sense. So when I was sitting down and writing this speech and reflecting on what made this moment, this significant event possible, I took a walk down memory lane to think about how we got here, how Sam moved down the path of life and some interesting stops when he was young. There was a particular stop on this path of life when we were young. We couldn't have been much older than three or four, one day, Sam and I were playing with Legos in our living room. Mom was outside working in the garden. Mother also left us eating a snack. This snack was peanuts. Sam asked himself a question. What would happen if he stuck one of these tiny nuts up his nose? <laughs> well, we found out very quickly they don't come out very easily. I ended up running outside bawling my eyes out and informing mom that Sam had stuck a peanut up his nose and that would never come out. Mom, per usual, saved the day. Another point in the highlight reel of Sam's childhood was when he decided to climb into the Lazy Susan. Why was this a problem, you ask? Well, let's just say the fire department was almost called to hack him out of it. But luckily, his head fit through. At this point, you're probably saying to yourself, this guy's gonna be a neurologist. First, yeah, it's a little scary. Second, this is a reflection of the humor Sam approaches everything with. And third, this man, my little brother, showed fortitude, love, and compassion, even when he was moving down the path of life as a little boy, going towards where he's at today. While ruminating on these thoughts, the main instance that came to mind, which reflects my brother's character, was when, walking out of Walmart back to the minivan, and he was carrying Sydney, our little sister, when she was a baby. He tripped over a curb stop and fell. The entire time, he never moved his arms from her. Scraped, bleeding, bruised, and crying, he stood up, holding his little sister in his arms, worried he had hurt her, worried about what he had done to her. In reality, that day, he didn't hurt her. He saved his little sister's life. All of these things were reverberations of the man he would one day become, the humorous, caring, compassionate, and strong brother. It was clear to me that my sister had met the right guy when she told me his name. The best guys in the world are named Sam. He must be the guy, since Anna would rather do anything in the entire world than be forced to match me for the rest of her life. So this guy must be the most special guy in the world. Sam has completed our family. His kindness and thoughtfulness and love that he has for my sister has no bounds. 
I've loved watching you two grow together over time, how you function as a team, and how much you clearly love one another. I have one sister, just the one. One that I love fiercely. I can wholeheartedly say that I look up to my little sister. The truth is, I wonder how I ever spent two and a half years of my life on this earth without Anna. And now, I wonder how we've ever been a full family without Sam. Here's to my one and only sister and my new brother. Through the intervening years, our bond as brothers ebbed and flowed. In that time, he had other significant events in his life occur. Graduating high school, dating, making new friends, graduating from college, but his path would take the biggest turn when he met a bartender pursuing a master's degree at ISU. I remember in November of 2016 when Sam called with a slightly nervous tone in his voice, told me he was going to bring his new girlfriend, Anna, with him to Bloomington to meet Megan and I. Well, when she arrived, we could tell she was a charmer and speaking to Sam on our porch balcony, him and I alone, I could tell this girl was different than anyone he'd ever been with before. Then in August of 2017, my entire family came down to stay with us for a weekend. During this weekend, Anna, after having consumed a goodly portion of wine, was cracking wise and making jokes. Plus, you could tell she was really starting to let her guard down and be herself. This weekend is what cemented it for me. Anna was going to be a part of our family someday. Fast forward through the intervening years, now I've seen Sam and Anna together. They adopted Moose, got a home, and have done so much more together. They are made for each other. <laughs> I mean, if you've ever seen these two together, you have to realize they're meant for each other. The sense of humor is absolutely identical. Whether it is being goofballs playing Animal Crossing at home, taking pictures with their pup, or spending quality time with their families, the paths of these two very awesome people turn and merge together. Their path will lead them on more adventures to new people and exciting destinations throughout life. The successes and joys for these two are only beginning. I wish them both the best and all the happiness in the world. Please raise a glass with me, Tana and Sam. Love you guys.